Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about the macOS Sonoma 14.2 public beta update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Recently, Apple released the macOS Sonoma 14.2 public beta update for the general public. To update your Mac to macOS Sonoma 14 public beta, open system settings, then go to the software update section, then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sonoma 14.2 public beta update size is around 1.94 GB for my device. Click on update now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted.
and as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.2 public beta, and the build number is 23C5030F. Now moving forward and talking about the macOS Sonoma 14.2 beta release notes. The macOS 14.2 beta SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers, running Sonoma 14.2 beta. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.1, available from the Mac App Store. For information on the compatibility requirements for Xcode 15.1, see Xcode 15.1 release notes. Regarding contact key verification known issues. To learn more links do not link to knowledge base articles during beta. When verifying another user, the contact verification code might not show if one user interrupts the flow. The workaround is that both users should restart the process. After verifying a contact, the verification checkmark might not show up in the Messages app. Users might see an error to turn off the transcript every few hours. The workaround is to dismiss the error. Users might see that they are not eligible to enable contact key verification on some of their upgraded devices. The workaround is to retry after waiting at least 30 minutes. Regarding iMessage contact key verification new features. With iMessage contact key verification, users can choose to further verify that they are messaging only with the people they intend. iMessage contact key verification uses key transparency to enable automatic verification that the iMessage key distribution service returns device keys that have been logged to a verifiable and auditable map. When a user enables the feature, they will be notified about any validation errors directly in the messages conversation transcript in Apple ID settings. For even higher security, iMessage contact key verification users can compare contact verification code in person, on FaceTime, or through another secure call. They can also choose to create or edit a contact and save a public key to turn on iMessage contact key verification with that person. All devices signed into your iCloud account must be on the minimum supported version of iOS 17.2 beta, macOS 14.2 beta, or watchOS 17.2 beta. If you wish to keep using other devices on older versions of the OS, you will need to sign out of iMessage on these devices in order to enable contact key verification. Regarding messages known issues, on localized string shown for member count in the full screen map view of group messages might appear. Regarding store kit new features. New pricing properties price, currency, and currency code are now available on transaction. If an offer was applied to the transaction, a new property offer is available to see information about it, ID, type, payment mode, as well as convenience properties, offer ID, offer type, and offer payment mode. Regarding Swift UI new features, use log changes to log causes of Swift UI view updates. Call the new debugging method log changes in the body of a Swift UI view to log information about why the system is updating the view as well as the physical property names, at self marks that the view value itself has changed, and at identity marks that the identity of the view has changed, that is, that the persistent data associated with the view has been recycled for a new instance of the same type. The new log changes method is like the existing print changes one, except that the new method uses the system console, which is useful in some debugging workflows. Calls the log changes, log at the info level to the com.apple.swiftui subsystem, with the category changed body properties regarding its resolved issues. Resolved a possible Swift access conflict crash that could occur with toolbar items. Regarding its known issues, to prevent unintentional implicit dependency cycles, image render no longer sends observable updates when the image it produces changes. This change does not affect the behavior when a dependency is explicitly declared by observing the image renderer's publisher. Regarding widget known issues, in widget's text, style, does not animate its content by default. The work area is to explicitly request an animation, use the view.contentranscition modifier. So this was the overview of this build. The rest of the build seems identical to the previous beta. So that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.